It looks like I don't know how to shade match my brows. Oh my gosh, this is gonna make my already pink skin look even more pink. What did I do? I look like pink Donald Trump. My highlight is popping, right? Hey guys, so today's video is going to be the makeup jar challenge or the jar makeup challenge. I'm not really sure exactly what it's called, but this is a collaboration with my friend here on YouTube, Karina. I'll have her channel in the description down below and her video as well. This is really exciting. So I've seen two versions going around and I'm gonna talk about the two versions and tell you which one we're doing. So the first version that I've seen is to put your, like the order of your makeup and cut them out and put them in a jar and then as you pick them out that's the order you do them in but the one we're actually gonna do is a little different so the one that we pull out is what we have to use in that step of the routine if that makes sense you'll see you'll get the hang of it as I do it it's not gonna look pretty probably because <laughs> I've seen this version pretty mess up it's gonna be interesting but like I saw somebody do mascara as foundation it literally made me want to cry but yeah that's what we're gonna do it's gonna be a lot of fun this is totally a fun video and don't forget to go check out Karina and yeah before I get into this video I'd love for you to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be notified every single time I upload a new video I upload every other day on YouTube it might be a little less in the next couple weeks because I'm going on vacation and I just cannot pre-film and do looks for Instagram every single day I've done like 17 looks in the past three days legit <laughs> like I wish I was exaggerating but I'm not okay I kind of am but whatever but I also upload on Instagram every weekday I changed it from every day to every weekday because I wasn't getting such great engagement on weekends anyway so I decided to just upload every weekday but I upload more creative looks on Instagram than I do on YouTube so check me out there I would love for you to follow me there and yeah without further ado let's get into this video okay so the first thing I'm gonna do is hopefully this pencil works yes I don't have any writing utensils in my house I don't know why but I'm gonna write down the steps of my makeup routine like in order and I'm gonna keep that as a reference because then that way I don't get flustered throughout the video so I start with brows and then I do eyeshadow then primer well should I count primer yeah let's count primer after primer would be foundation concealer bronzer blush highlight and lips I'm gonna keep this as reference but now I'm gonna write the same exact words on another piece of paper let me see I have my eyebrow scissors here I probably shouldn't be using them to cut paper but it is what it is so now I'm gonna fold them up so I can't really even read them and stick them in my jar and by jar I mean mug this is the lights label mug I don't even know what collection it's from I just ordered it i'm so nervous you guys i don't want to look like a dumbass but i probably will i should have made it interesting and put like paint or something oh my gosh because i have tons of paint and i just did a i just did a paint look which is why my face looks so abnormally red i mean my face is just always red but whatever totally forgot mascara so i would just put mascara at the very end of my list because it doesn't really matter when it goes i can do it after lips totally forgot mascara should i do eyeliner too you know what let's do eyeliner just for fun i should reverse mascara and eyeliner this is this video is already a mess this, this is gonna be so interesting we've got our jar by the way i'm wearing a kimono it kind of looks like i'm not wearing a shirt under this but i'm wearing a tank top i promise i'm not like indecent all right let's do this so the first thing i'm gonna pull out so what i'm gonna do for my brows is bronzer all right that's not that bad i guess bronzer on the brows we're gonna do this so i'm gonna use my benefit hula and my anastasia brow brush this bronzer is gonna be way too late so you're not even gonna see anything on my brows to be honest this is just such a fun video but i'm gonna cringe at the final result probably can you see it at all i can't oh yes ew <laughs> that looks horrible it looks like i don't know how to shade match my brows all right well that's that so for eyeshadow i'm scared please be nice to me i'm gonna pull it out oh i got eyeshadow should I put it back? Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna make this interesting. All right, highlight. Okay, so this is the Benefit cookie. I just used this, so it's what's out. So I'm just gonna use it. 
Okay, so just some little shimmer on the lid. Oh, I usually like do go in with a concealer. Should I have done that? Nah, we're breaking the rules today. So far, it doesn't look that bad, right? <laughs> I'm getting a little lucky here. Next we have primer. Should I have taken out primer? I feel like I should take out primer because I didn't do eyeshadow primer. So you know what? Oh crap, there's an eyelash attached to that. Oh my gosh, I'm making a mess here. Scared the crap out of me. I thought it was a spider. I'm not even joking. So we're gonna skip primer. We're gonna go straight to foundation. I got foundation. What is wrong with me? Look at the draw today. Let's see. Blush. All right, so no one said what kind of blush I had to choose. So I'm gonna choose one from this palette. This is the Lunar Beauty Moon Prism Blush Palette. By the way, ignore my nails. I'm getting them done in a couple of days. I just had to take off the set that I had and I'm gonna get them done by a professional because I'm going on vacation and I'm still learning. All right, so this is the blush palette. I'm gonna take this one because it's the lightest one <laughs> and you know, take it everywhere I would put foundation. Oh my gosh, this is gonna make my already pink skin look even more pink. <laughs> it's great. I tend to avoid right under my eye when doing foundation anyway because that's where concealer goes and I don't like to make it so pigmented under there because then that's how it creases and cakes up. Oh my god. I don't even see a difference to be honest. <laughs> my skin is so pink anyway, but okay. All right. I take some down my neck too. You know, gotta gotta do this all the way, right? Okay, I think I'm done. Next we have concealer. Oh my gosh, what am I gonna pull up for concealer? Concealer, I swear, what the hell? Eyeshadow. <laughs> okay, so the palette that I just used on the look that I did, this is the Morphe James Charles palette. Oh my gosh, a lot of shadow just fell on me. I guess that was breaking. All right, I'm gonna take this shade right here you know to give myself a shot at looking normal kind of i'm gonna take my uh this is the juno and co cloud sponge and i'm gonna put this where i would put concealer and i always use this for concealer so i always put concealer down the bridge of my nose my forehead this is funny imagine if this was like the norm like if this was good looking makeup just think about it this looks amazing right so next we have powder Let's see what I pull out. Oh, I accidentally put eyeshadow back in there, my bad. Concealer, oh my gosh. Yep, so concealer over powder. It's not gonna make it cake up or anything, right? All right, the concealer that I have out is the Hourglass. Um, what's this called? It doesn't have the name on the tube and I always forget the name of this concealer, but it's very full coverage. So this is gonna look very interesting. I'm just gonna put it where I normally put it. I only powder my concealer, so I don't powder the rest of my face. Um, but I do powder all of my concealer, which includes down the middle of my face. What the heck, it won't blend. What did I do? It's probably sticking to what I already put there. So now I have a giant V in the middle of my forehead. That's lovely. I look like pink Donald Trump. You know how he has his under eyes super white and the rest of them are orange? Instead of orange, I'm pink. All right, so next we have bronzer. Let's see. I already picked the bronzer, so it's not gonna be bronzer. It's gonna be powder. <laughs> All right, let me find the powder. I don't even have a powder out because I never use powder. Hold on. This one will be fun. So this is the Kylie Cosmetics Loose Illuminating Powder. So I'm gonna put that where I would normally put my bronzer. It's kind of darker than I remembered. I, I don't use this very often. Oh, it's pretty. <laughs> I'm gonna use my actual contour brush. I'm gonna need to remember to wash this before I actually go in with contour. Cause otherwise, oh my God, it went everywhere. <sighs> I need to like actually pay attention to what I'm doing. I also tend to bronze the, my forehead <laughs> because I have a five head and I need to make it look smaller and I have no idea what this is actually gonna do. Do you guys see? Oh, it's pretty. It's actually really pretty. I kind of got over Kylie Cosmetics. Anyone else? Like, I really don't care for it that much anymore. So, I like gave up on buying anything. This was like the last purchase I made, to be honest. And this was over a year ago, I think. Now it's blush. All right, let's see what we get. Cause I already got blush. So, 
lips <laughs> lips for blush okay i can make that work i can make that work we're gonna make it work all right this is the lipstick i just used so we're gonna put this here where i usually put my blush the tip of my nose oh my god i blended into nothing that's not cool all right let's use a brush I look like a nutcracker now. You know how they have those two dots? It actually kind of looks like blush. What have I done? Let's see what I get for highlight. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. All right, let's mix this up real good. Oh, it's folded. Brows. Okay. I'm trying to think if I have a brow powder somewhere. Do I have a brow powder? Can I cheat a little bit and use a brow powder? But I don't think I do. Oh my gosh, we're gonna use a brow pencil. This is the billion dollar, is it million or billion? It's billion, billion dollar brows, um, brow pencil. Oh, this keeps coming out of its socket. Oh, it came out. Okay, I think that's a dud. Never mind. I think it's gone. I lost it. So we're gonna use Benefit, the Benefit Precisely My Brow in the shade 3.5. Oh my gosh. All right, so I usually highlight here. We're just gonna. My highlight is popping, right? So highlight, now lips. What's left? Oh my gosh, okay. I freaking knew it, mascara. <laughs> um, but this is the Benefit by Galbing. Why did I do this to myself? So it's not even spreading anymore. Okay, I actually wanna get this to look good. It just dries so quickly. What am I supposed to do? This is it. All right, next we have mascara. <laughs> oh my gosh, let's let's switch it. Let's do eyeliner first. Eyeliner, no. Oh, that means I'm gonna get eyeliner as mascara. All right, so I know the last two. So foundation and eyeliner. So foundation as eyeliner and eyeliner as mascara. I'm so confused. I'm gonna take my hourglass foundation. This is gonna be used as eyeliner, apparently. This is how we roll around here. I'm gonna do a nice little wing that you won't be able to see because it's gonna match with my skin tone, you know? Look at how pretty that is actually. Okay, my lips hurt. They feel weird, they feel tight. Like I shouldn't have mascara on my lips. All right, so that's eyeliner. Kind of a vibe, I'm not gonna lie. I think I discovered a trend here. Oh, my lips feel so weird. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. I have to take this off ASAP. I'm gonna use my Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid liner as mascara. Oh, it's so liquidy, it got everywhere. It's gonna get in my eye. I don't recommend trying this at home. Try it at your own risk. I mean, this kind of looks like mascara, so this is kind of pointless. Oh, it hurts. No, don't go on my eyeball. It's gonna blur my contact. Oh, it blurred my contact. Yeah, I don't like this. I do not like this. I do not like this. So this is the finished look. Tag me in your recreations because I know you guys want to recreate this look. This is so... My lips feel really, really strange and my eyeball is watering and my contact is very blurry. So I'm about to go take this off like right now and probably do one more look for the day. I have one more day to do three, four looks tomorrow and I wanna film one more video and edit all that on Thursday before I leave on Friday. My life is crazy, but it is what it is. As you're watching this though, I'm vacationing in a nice Airbnb with my family, like 15, 16 people in one house and that's all we're doing. We're not going anywhere, just chilling in the house all together in Florida. It's gonna be so nice. Sunny, sunny Florida. It's really hot here anyway, but I miss Florida. It's my home state if you didn't know but anyway i really hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to check out karina i'll have her links in the description like i said and yeah if you enjoyed this video i would really appreciate you giving it a thumbs up it helps me out so so much and i also hope you'll consider subscribing before you leave you know you want to subscribe to this mess right let me know if you guys want to see more challenges like this and i will see you guys in my next video bye testing one two three testing one two three so the first version is to put the order of your makeup like is to put all your makeup steps in a jar and pick them up so the first um hmm. my handwriting is a work of art i literally never write anymore so what am i doing